หายหายก็เดี๋ยวนี้เอาไว้ยุติได้ Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Fine too. Ready, ready for our class number 13. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Um, uh, maybe, but... What uh, happened? Because I feel sick, too. Uh oh You got a flu. Yes, I have a flu. Oh, wow. That's sad. Hello, Ursula. How are you today? Um, very fine. Thank you. Excellent. 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 Let's see, we are how many? Nine. We're nine at the moment. Mm -hmm. Great. Well. I'm going to call attendance while the rest of the people continue connecting. And then we will start. We have a lot of things to do today, right? I'm um, there. Uh, Abner Adoni, present. Present. Ah. Okay. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Andre. No here, Andre. Angie. Angie. Arely. Present teacher. Nice. Erling. I'm oh, here teacher. Irma Noemi. Irma Noemi. Carla Milena. Present teacher. Maria es Epifania. Present teacher. ¿Cómo siguió, hijo? Más o menos, teacher, hoy fui a pasar consulta porque anoche me dio gran fiebre. Wow. El dolor de cabeza me estaba molestando. Ah, qué lindo. Pero me he estado tomando las pastillas, ya me siento un poco mejor, gracias a Dios. Hay que seguir, ¿verdad? No bajarle a la medicina para que sí. termine de hacer efecto. Marta. Present, teacher. Mauricio. I'm here to share. Hey, qué chivo. Ya llegó, Berti. Yeah. Okay, nice. Miguel Ángel. Perdimos a Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. Present. Oscar. Present, teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Nice. Anybody connected after I call you? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I am. Hi, Angie. Okay, Angie. Yes. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? No? No more. Okay. Bueno. Mm -hmm. 
Bueno, we are ready to start. Okay, well, I'm going to share. Okay, this is our class number. <laughs> Sorry. This is our class number 13, June 14. So on Saturday, you have a day off. Do you work on Saturday? Yes, I work. But you won't work this coming Saturday, will you? No, verdad? Not, not today. Hey, it's a hot day. Nice, nice, nice. So we will be free to celebrate. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, as I told you, this is the week of the past, right? The day before yesterday, Monday, we were talking about uh, affirmative sentences in the past. Yesterday, we were talking about negatives in the past. And of course, we were making a review of the affirmative ones. And today we are going to be talking about questions. Yes, no questions. And the objective is participants will be able to write three yes, no questions using the simple pass correctly individually in order to ask them to the class. So you will write the question first and then you will interview other people with those questions, right? Now, just refresh. Yesterday, we were talking about the simple past negative. We were using negatives for the verb to be and also negative for other verbs. And just a rephrasing, right? Remember, we said that we use was or wasn't or were or weren't when we are talking about feelings, mood, emotions, or when we're describing something because we use adjectives with the verb to be. Uh, we can identify a place or also we can use a noun after the verb to be. That when we use or when we make negative sentences using other verbs like receive, stand, stay, go, buy. When we make sentences like this in negative, we are going to use the auxiliary did, but in negative, right? The auxiliary did in negative. That would be didn't. I didn't receive. Notice that the verb is in present because the auxiliary is in past. I cannot say I didn't went. That's not possible, right? So I say I didn't go. I didn't swim. He didn't say. She didn't call. We didn't buy, right? Because we put the auxiliary in past and the verb will, the verb will be in present. Check these examples. I like tennis, but I didn't like football, yeah? I didn't live in London last year. I was 19 years old. I was a student. Oh, you can say I wasn't a student. He lived in London. I didn't play the piano, but I played the guitar. 
they didn't work class leaking. Jan didn't live in Manchester. Angela didn't drive to work. She went by bus. She didn't drive. She took the bus. I played football every weekend when I was at the university. I played football every weekend when I was at the university. Okay, that is using the simple past in negative. Now, remember that we were also mentioning yesterday that with these expressions, we are going to use in, on, or at. So what you're going to do right now is complete these sentences using the expressions, the time expressions as you wish, right? So that's as you wish. It will be optional what you want to use. For example, if you say she was born in 2020, she was born at eight o'clock. She was born on July 15th, 2020, right? So, it, but what you have to check, what you have to check, it doesn't matter what expression you use. What you have to be careful is that you use in the correct expression at, at the, the correct preposition, right? That you use in the correct preposition with the sentence that you select or with the expression of time that you select to use. Any question there? Mm -hmm. Questions? No questions. Teacher, tell me. Cuando utilizamos los meses, también vamos a utilizar el on, ¿verdad? Depende, Carlos. Why? If you use only the month, it's in. If you're using a complete date, like this, then you use on. That's why I say it depends. Depends on what you want to use. Ah, okay, perdón, no la había visto. Ah, no, it's okay. It's okay. But remember, you decide the expression of, of time, right? You decide the expression of time that you want to use. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Let me know when you finish, right? Remember here, you can also use other expressions like two days ago, last week, last month, yesterday. Expressions that we studied the day before yesterday, right? On Monday, we were mentioning a couple of, of, of expressions that we use with the past. So you can perfectly use those expressions too. Be sure that you use the time expression correctly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. When you finish, you let me know so we can share.
Okay, are you ready? No, yet. Okay. Okay, let's see number one. She was born. Who wants to read number one? Bueno, we will choose, right? We will choose. Uh, Ana Luisa, can you read number one? Hello. Hola, me voy incorporando, perdón. Okay, just read the sentence and choose one expression to complete. Okay. Uh, no sé si es así, teacher. Um, date on my uh, sense. Ajá. Uh -huh. But read the complete sentence. She was born. She was born. Uh, in, in, the, in months, my. May. May, perdón, May, May uh, 10th. In or on? In. Sorry. In or on? Uh, on. Uh -huh. On May 10th. On oh, May 10th, okay. Number two, Abner. Number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
He visited friends. On vacation. Okay, great. Number three, Angie. Angie. Number three, Angie. Uh, we need help. Mm. In the evening. Okay. Hey. Uh -huh. Nice night. Thank you. Adeline, number four. Mm hmm Adeli, hello. Adeli, Adeli. Podría ser teacher a lunch time. Read the complete sentence. They expected you to go at lunch time. At lunch time, okay. They expected us to go at lunch time. Very good, thank you. Let's see. <coughs> Early. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Salud. Thank you. Early, number five. We needed to buy food. <coughs> Uh oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Erling, Erling. No durmió early. Early. Ah, uh -huh. Number five, early. We need to buy food. We need. Um, it. We need it. We need. We, we need, need it. to buy. Needed to buy food. Oh. On Friday. Okay. Nice, nice. And let's see. Carla, no, Irma. Number six, Irma. Irma, Irma. Irma, hello. Carla Milena. Uh, they read a book. Read? On vacation. Okay. They read a, okay. They read a book on vacation. Okay, thank you. Maria, number eight. Mm -hmm. Maria, Maria. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Mary told me about the accident. Um, on Friday. Okay, Mary told me about the accident on Friday. Okay, number nine. 
Vamos a ver quién está por aquí. Nancy. Nancy, Nancy. Okay. Um, we tried to live purely at 8 o'clock. Ok. Ok, ok. Number 10, Silvia. De oh, perdón, no le escuché. ¿Qué, qué número dijo? 10. Number 10. Hola. Number 10. Ahorita. They. They wrote a report in the morning. Ok. They wrote a report in the morning. Úrsula, number 11. Number 11. She brought me break fruit, fruit at lunch time. At lunch time. Okay. Number 12, Sylvia. 12, Sylvia. We send him a message. Mm. Bueno. Ay, no sé. Ay, hay un montón de expresiones de tu pincho. A ver, a ver, a ver. We send him a message on Friday. Okay. We sent him a message on Friday. Number 13, Oscar. We like our food. Uh, when? <laughs> when? When did, you um, like, when did you like this food? We like our food. Yes, eh, en the summer puede ser. Sure, in the summer, why not? Ajá, hey. Mauricio, tell me, Mauricio. Okay. I see the lesson. Ajá. In the evening. I study the lesson in the evening. Very good. And number 14, William. Fourteen, William. We like we like our food. No, um, fourteen. Fourteen. Ah, perdón. Inside the world common on um, on Christmas. Uh -huh. He said that he will come on Christmas. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Any question? Any questions? No, that's not. That was refreshing the this expression so time. Okay. Now, en este caso la podemos completar con la que consideremos más apropiada sí. porque la, muchas que se pueden usar de diferente forma, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, definitivamente. Por ejemplo, okay. if you say they wrote a report in the morning, they wrote a report in May, they wrote a report in on Sunday, they wrote a report at eight o'clock. What you have to be careful is that you use the correct preposition, ¿verdad? Que va con cada expression. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Now, what we are going to do here is complete the sentences in negative, right? So you say, she didn't mention this, to her boss. She didn't. She didn't mention. And se acuerdan?
Ahí se acuerdan que el verbo va a quedar en present y lo que va a cambiar a past es el auxiliar. Oye, she didn't mention this to her boss. We didn't go out last night. Okay. By at this time, hoy sí los voy a mandar los productos. Vamos a mandar los grupitos. So you work in pairs. But I'm going to share the, the sentences that you're going to work in the, in the chat. In the chat de WhatsApp. Sí. Some will be groups of three and some others will be groups of four. But I hope all of you were able to enter. Ursula, try to join. Hello. Hello. Sorry. I'm <laughs> tomando un poquito de agua. Oh, yeah. Okay. Vaya, solo ustedes dos, nadie más se me escucha. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi, Silvia. Vaya, en yeah. el chat, las oraciones están okay. en el chat. Oye. Ok, thank you. Quería darles el completo orden. Ok. Hola. Hola. ¿Escucha? Sí, ya. Yeah. <ríe> ok. Yeah. Lo siento, que pude conectar antes que se me va mucho la señal. Oh. Okay. Sí, es de completar. Negativo. Ya. Yeah. Teacher, una pregunta. Y sí. es donde dice not y empieza con, un, con el verbo. Cualquiera de las dos se puede seleccionar. Eh, si dice not es porque va a ser negativo. Ah, sí. Si sí, agarra la otra, por ejemplo, got puede ser positivo. Todas son negativas. Ah, Esos ok. Todos son Okay. Entonces, 
Cheat. ¿Cómo nos queda la uno? Sí. Did. Didn't eh, contractado va. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Sería. Entonces sería he, he did he did dije uh, vos así sería no y ¿Sí? he did o sea he did didn't didn't, didn't. didn't. ajá ajá didn't. es negativo verdad he didn't ajá he didn't he do her boss Y el otro sería with direct go goes last night. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo sería la número dos? Ahorita. We didn't. Thank you. Hola. Hello. Oh. Eh, las dos no la han hecho ¿no? sería no. we um, born ¿Dire? o oh, ah, sí, sí, sí. yo creo oh. que didn't sí. we didn't go last night go last night, correcto ajá la primera que dice que ella no le hizo eso. Bien. Bien. Tony didn't ask the girl for permission. Tony didn't. Tony didn't ask the girl for permission. Sí o no? Tengo duda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't ask. 
up sería Don't be giving up the year for permi permission. For, no sé qué, for permission. Permission. Y el otro sería Mary didn't need us to be there. Didn't need us to be there. Didn't there. Care. No me diga there, eso ya lo estudiaron. There. 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 Luego ya Biden ask or ask us for help. Ajá. Betty didn't call me as she promise Mark Mark didn't work all day. He got or oh, he got six. Uh -huh. Sí, verdad? Sí, Peter. Uh -huh. Peter didn't explain the situation. Awesome. I have I have I Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo vamos? I You finished. Ya casi. Okay. ¿En qué número íbamos, compañera? María. Eh, no sé por dónde va. ¿No van trabajando juntas? Sí, lo que pasa es que ella se levantó un momento. Ah, okay. Por el número cuatro, Angie. Okay. Dice Mari needs us to be here. Oh, perdón. Mary. 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 Mm -hmm. Mary didn't. Mary didn't need to be there. And didn't need us. And didn't need us to be didn't here. To be there. Uh -huh. And there's. There. Didn't us to be Yeah. 
And number five, Jack didn't ask ask Did for help. For help. Mm -hmm. Ask, mm -hmm. ask. Ask. Didn't ask. 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 <laughs> Jack. Jack didn't ask. ask didn't for help. Didn't ask. Ask for help. Ask. 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 Ask for help. Y que doble a. Didn't ask. Ah. 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 Number six. Very. Very. Didn't call me. Call me. Ask my. How to pronounce teacher? Promise. 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 She's promise. She's a liar. She promised to go, but she didn't. Yeah, she's a liar. Didn't. Yeah. We shit when he was waiting for the call. Number seven. Oh, me. Mark didn't work all day. He got he got sick. 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 Number eight. He didn't work all day. Well, he got sick. He was sick. He got. He was sick. He he was. Peter didn't explain mm -hmm. the situation mm -hmm. to us. To us. To us. Margaret didn't help us with the report. report. Betty mm -hmm. didn't like her present. Her present. Good. Betty didn't like her present. I imagine she didn't like her present. Bien gusto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she didn't. Sonia didn't ask where mm -hmm. the phone. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Sonia Brian, Brian didn't answer the phone. Brian didn't come to class yesterday. I was working in the platform today, but when I click on Zoom, the platform didn't work. Really? What happened? I, I I don't know. I made two exercises and the two exercises didn't send the answer in the end. But it didn't, didn't give uh, you the result of the exercise. It didn't, didn't give me the result. Mm, I don't know. Which, Maybe ones, it, which ones were you was, working today? In, um, preguntas y solo le aparecen eh, hechas 40. Ajá, estoy haciendo las de preguntas, pero que no tiene. De donde le pone que haga la pregunta, eh, eh, y, y yo, por ejemplo, no, se, no se la guardó. Ajá, la negativa tampoco. Ajá, también. Una sí me la grabó, pero después se trató que ninguna me la grabó. Una tarea. Y, y, se, y la tarea le daba, le daba sumi y, y se quedaba pensando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y al final no me daba nada, o sea. Tarea nueve. Sí, creo que sí. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ajá, la, la, de donde me quedé, las siguientes dos. Las hice, pero no me las sacó. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Lo mismo en el país. Es como si a un animal. Le tomé captura a una que hice. Eh, a la otra sí ya no le tomé captura, pero. Vaya, tomé captura la, a una. Solamente tiene la 10 y la. Bueno, la 11 sí la tiene. La 10 y la 11 uh -huh. tiene. La 12 y la 13 no. Uh -huh. Esas dos creo que no. Y aquí le tomé una. La captura le tomé al. Biden Negative. Este que la acabo de hacer, la dos. Pues sí, me la da. Lo único que la del apóstrofe, hay uno que me lo pone mal. El apóstrofe es lo... Ajá, es que me dio, me dio error porque no le puse el apóstrofe correcto. Pero. Bebe, fíjese que. Corregí. Fíjese que si me lo da, el 12 me lo dio, me dejó pasar. La 13 es la question, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Pero no sé por qué no me la grabo. La voy a volver a hacer quizás mañana. A ver si mañana me la grabo. Sí, a ver, ahorita estoy revisando la 11. La 11, no, la 12 no tuve problema, me la aceptó. Uh -huh. A ver las questions. La voy a hacer mañana otra vez. Maybe the signal of the internet was not that good. Sí, estaba pensando que tal vez la internet no estaba tan también y por eso no, no lograba enviar la, la info. Ajá. That could be. Va, entonces voy a, voy a hacer las mañanas otra vez. Thank you. Sí, no problem. Puede haber sido el internet, fíjese. Sí, sí, sí. Porque si era la 12, la 12 era la de las negativas. Uh -huh. Vaya, si era la 12. La otra era de questions. Y la de las questions la acabo de hacer uh -huh. no me dio problema. Uh -huh. La de mañana. Sí, no problem. Sí, la da. No eh, sí, no, no problem. Este, seguramente el internet el quizá internet. No, no estaba muy estable, por eso no la sé. Uh -huh. O se dio algún problema en la plataforma durante la tarde, pero ya ahorita momento. ya se ve que sí, está funcionando bien. Ay, Entonces, mañana la, la voy a hacer de nuevo. Uh -huh. Me logro sí. y, y así ya bien puede hacer la, la otra. La, la siguiente. Pues, no nada bien. pide la teacher. Nada. Bueno, vámonos, chicas. Gracias. Let's go. Let's go. Eh. Coming back. Oh. Ok. Let's wait for everybody to come. The ones that stay here, did you finish? Hmm? Finish, finish. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, I'm sharing. Number one, we did it, right? It says, uh, she didn't mention this to her boss. Number two. 
We, we, we didn't go out last night. Mm -hmm. We didn't go out last night. Number three. Tony didn't ask the girl for permission. Okay. And uh, Mary need didn't need us to be here, be there. Mm -hmm. She didn't need us to be there. Yes. Right. Number uh, five. Uh, Jack didn't ask ask us for help. Mm -hmm. Six. That didn't ask us. Six. Betty didn't call me as she promised. Promise. 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 She promised, but she didn't call. Yes. Yeah. So she didn't call me as she promised. Promise, promise, uh, promise. A number seven. Mark didn't work all day. He got sick. Because? Oh, he got sick. Uh -huh. He got sick. He got sick. He got sick. He got sick. Okay. The next one. Number eight. Peter didn't explain the situation to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number nine. Margaret. Margaret didn't help us with the report. Exactly. Betty. Betty, Betty didn't like her present. She didn't like her present. Okay. Number yes. 11, Sonia. Sonia didn't ask where the phone. Yeah, she didn't answer the phone. And Brian and, uh, didn't come to class yesterday. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Nice. Now, check. Let's go to this. Look at these uh, two experiences, right? We have two different experiences here. One Mrs. Mendoza and the other Mr. Torres. Mrs. Mendoza says, I had a problem with the payroll. I have a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he brought. He gave me a copy of the report that I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. That is Mrs. Mendoza's experience, not that good. Okay, Andrew. Now, Mr. Torres uh, says, I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me the details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine, and everything was perfect. Okay, so you see? Two experiences completely different, right? Mrs. Mendoza is happy with the service of Mr. Torres. That said that for him, everything ran perfect. Okay, what you're going to do here on the next slide, you have a couple of questions and answer them based on the reading before. If you want to see it, you can go to your manual. Let me see. Um, I guess it's page 30 and something. 
minute remaining. Actually, sure. exactly. Page 33 in your manual, right? So you can read it there and you can answer the questions for Mrs. Mendoza and for Mr. Torres. Okay. Go ahead. Teacher, uh, can you please show me show me the other image? <clears throat> sure. This one. Thank you, teacher. Let me know when you finish. We submit the poem at least. Imagine. Are you ready to check? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, no, yet. Mm -hmm. No, yet, no, yet. Yes, teacher. Okay. Baya, tell me. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. He has a problem, but a technician solved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But it's like I, in those cases mm -hmm. when you receive help from somebody that and then you say like what did you do so next time i don't have to ask for help but they they don't tell you they just do it right don't you hate that <laughs> because poor mrs mendoza right she she says at the end the problem was solved but she didn't understand anything right Okay, what about Mr. Torres? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No. 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 Who, who, who did he call? Hmm? He called the mechanic. He called the mechanic. the mechanic, exactly. He called the mechanic. We don't know if the mechanic was his friend, verdad? 
we don't know that but he called the mechanic if the mechanic was his best friend that's another story okay now remember we are talking about questions right when we ask questions the answer can be yes or no. <clears throat> Look at the example. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? <laughs> Sorry. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Yes, I did. Or, or, mm -hmm. yes, I did or no, I didn't. Did she pay extra money? Oh, no, I didn't. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she oh, did. She oh, did. no, yes, she didn't. Mm -hmm. Did we receive a report? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. En, en el caso, por ejemplo, que tú estornaste ahorita, ¿cómo te diría salud? Hmm? Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you repeat that, Andre? Eh, como tú estornudaste ahorita, ¿cómo te diría salud? En oh, inglés? bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Ah, okay. Bless you. Andrea, I have a question for you. Why did you write a, P, a, a P, C before your name? Ah, esas son mis iniciales del nombre, teacher. La costumbre. Oh, oh. ok. <laughs> I was like, A, P, C, what is it? Ok, ok. But now tell me, did they sign the letter? Did they yes, sign the letter? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They signed oh, it. No. Yes. Oh, no, they didn't. They did. mm -hmm. So check. When we ask questions, I have here some questions for you to practice asking, right? Did you study in this song? Remember we, what we said? about negative, right? In negatives, we use in the auxiliary, so the verb is in present, right? So the same happens in the question. As I'm using the auxiliary, my verb will be in present, mean? Then you say, did you study the lesson last night? Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Did you go to work yesterday? Aquí está el question mark, no solo he puesto cada uno, ¿verdad? Did you go to work yesterday? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Did you play a game yesterday? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Did you go shopping yesterday? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. So you remember that the, the, the answer can vary depending on you, right? If you did it or not. Did you go jogging yesterday? Did you get up early yesterday? Did you drive to work yesterday? Did you spend time with your family? Did you listen to music yesterday? Did you watch TV yesterday? Did you read a book yesterday? We can change the expressions of time so we do not have only yesterday. Did you write? Did you read a book last week? Teacher. Hola. I have a question. In in this case, como son preguntas directas, solo se responde con yes I did, no I don't. Yes I did, no I didn't. Exactly because they are just no question. Okay. The only answer you can give is is yes or no. Did you, did you play a game on Sunday? Or we can say last Sunday. Para que no solo sure. diga yesterday, ¿verdad? Sí, sure. Hola. Y con la question, digamos, si podría ir en vez de you, they, por decir ellos, did you do they study the last mm -hmm. on last night? You can say it. Did you get up? Did you get up early on Sunday? Ahí, fíjense que eh, una ventaja del past, a 
aparte de todos los libros que trae, que tiene que memorizarse los verbos, algo que sí le va a gustar del pasto, es que a la hora de utilizarlo, usted aquí perfectamente me puede decir, este, you, did you, did he, did she, did they, did we. ¿Verdad? No, no, no va a ser mayor diferencia. Lo único que si yo digo, did he study the lesson, a la hora de responder, usted igual me va a cambiar el subject. Yes, he did or no, he did. Did she go to work yesterday? Yes, she did. No, she did. Eso sí, ¿verdad? Entonces tienen que cuidar el subject. Did you go jogging yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. But did they go jogging yesterday? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So, una ventaja, una ventaja acá es que independientemente de qué subject usted utilice, el verbo va siempre va a ir en la misma manera. En el pasado, ustedes no tienen que preocuparse por las terceras personas del singular, ¿verdad? Ahí eso no debe de preocuparle a usted. Que si es he, que si es chi, aquí no importa. Porque se utiliza la estructura exactamente igual para todos, ¿verdad? ya sea en afirmativa, en negativa, en questions, eh, siempre va a ir igualito, igualito, igualito. No importa si está usando you, o he, o she, o we, o they, no importa. Pero eso se siente igual. Lo único. Sure. Ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, she studied the lesson last night, and sometimes no. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, yes, she did. did. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. Oh. Yes, she did. Aquí no sé, eh, bueno, ¿cómo le digo? Los adverbs of frequency que son always, usually, sometimes, eh, hardly ever, rarely, never, esos son adverbs of frequency. Y esos se utilizan para el present. Only. Para el past no. Hoy, para el paz no okay. se, eso solo se okay. para el pues. Entonces, acá en el, en el pasado, la única complicación que usted tiene es aprenderse los verbos, saber cuáles son regulares, cuáles son irregulares, pero ya una vez superando eso, la estructura es bien amigable, porque usted no tiene que preocuparse por cuál es la forma del sujeto, para utilizar el verbo, porque con todo va igual, la misma estructura es. Did he, did you, did we, did they, go. ¿Verdad? Con todo va a ir siempre igual. Por ejemplo, if we say, did she go shopping yesterday? You say, yes, she did. Did they get up early on Sunday? No, they didn't. Did he drive to work yesterday? Yes, he did. Or no, he didn't. ¿Verdad? Entonces aquí, este, eh, que me vamos a, me vamos a cambiar porque mucho, 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 yes. Entonces podemos usar, ¿Veis algo? ¿Verdad? Did you go shopping? Las manos. Entonces, independientemente de eh, la, la expresión de tiempo que usted utilice, la estructura se mantiene, o independientemente del subject que usted utilice, igual la estructura se mantiene. ¿Any question there? No question. 
No, teacher, no question. But I'm going to paste it there in the chat for you to have it, right? And I want to listen to you asking, taking turns to ask your partners. Mm -hmm. Who will be my volunteers? Volunteers? Teacher, creo que se fue la señal porque no te escuché. Ok, vaya. Volunteers or victims. Vamos a ver. Eh, Andre asked the first question. Y ya saben, ustedes pueden variar en el subject que quieran ocupar, ¿verdad? Vaya. Okay. Andre, choose a victim and ask the first question. Ok, voy a buscar a ver por acá, por acá. Hay tanta gente. Uh, a Katia. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Katia, did you study the lesson last the last night? Yes, I did. Okay. Creo que debes seleccionar tú la siguiente víctima y preguntarle. Sí, Katia, you choose the next one. Yeah, thank you, Andre. Sí. Andre. Oh, se la rebota. Se la rebota. Ok, ask the next question. Allí pueden andar en la que ustedes quieran preguntar, ok. Ok. Andre, did you listen to music yesterday? Yes, uh, I did. Mm -hmm. Now okay, it's so hard to choose another victim. Uh, la siguiente víctima va a ser uh, Angie Melissa Contreras. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, hi, Angie. Uh, did you go jogging yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your turn to ask. Okay, the next one is Erling. Erling, ready? Erling, choose a victim. Erling o María. Let me see. ¿A quién le vamos a preguntar, Erling? Oh, Erling. <coughs> ¿A quién? A María. Yes, a María. Okay. okay. Hello. Hey. Hello, Erling. Hi, Erling. Who was Marie? One of them. Hello. I didn't listen. Uh, did you? Cualquiera de esas, teacher? Yeah. You decide what you want to ask. Did you, did you drive to work two days ago? No, I didn't. Okay. Ask next one. Okay, I asked Marta Marisol. Marta. Hoy. <laughs> Aquí tú. Um, did you watch TV last Saturday? 
Yes, I did. Okay, you asked to your victim. <laughs> yes. Quiero mm. ver. Irma. Irma. Irma creo que no está. No Quiero ver entonces. Um, Carla. Carla Milena. Ask me. <laughs> did you listen to music yesterday? Yes, I did. Mm. Okay, bueno, elija la víctima. <laughs> okay, el Mauricio Antonio Ruano. I'm here. Okay, eh, Mauricio, did you get up early on Sunday? No, I didn't. Just your victim. Okay. Um, uh -huh. okay. William Joani. Hi. Okay, William. Uh, did you watch TV last Saturday? Yes, I did. Next, next one. Okay, uh, Ana Luisa. Hello. Ana Luisa, did you go to war yesterday? Eh, yes, I do. Is that the last one? Mm -hmm. No more? But now look at this. Oui. Now look at this. Did you want something to it? What's the answer? Did you want something to it? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, did you call, did she call you back? Did she call you no. back? Huh? No, she no, didn't. No, she didn't. Did, did your friends bring something? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh -huh. Did it make any weird noises? Yes, it didn't. It did. Yes, it did. Did we watch that movie before? No, they didn't. Did we watch it? Did we watch that movie before? No, we? Oh, yes. Yes, we, we did. Yes, we did or no, we didn't, right? Did the children participate in the game? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did it rain last night? Yes. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Yes. Well, no, really, yes, but I did. 
<laughs> yes, it did it rain. Did it rain and no? Did you go on a trip last weekend? No, I I didn't. Did it. Did they attend university together? Yes, yes they, they did. did. Did the store give you a discount? No, no they, they did. didn't. Okay, very good. Any question? No question? No. Okay. Now, remember, we're talking about questions, right? And when we're asking questions, you can also use where. But as I mentioned before, you use it with an adjective. Were you happy last night? Were you happy last night? Then you say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Were you at home last yes, night? Yes, I was. Okay. Did you have breakfast this morning? No, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I was. Uh -uh. Good. Yes, yes I. I was. Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Uh, oh, no, I didn't, verdad? Were you at the concert yesterday? Yes, I was. I was. I was. I yes, I was. Were you at the concert yesterday? Yes, I was. And were you at home yesterday? Yes, I yes, did. Yes, I did. Ah, uh, were you at home yesterday? Were you at home yesterday? No, I didn't. Yeah. Were you at home? Oigan, no lean, oigan. Were you at yes, home yesterday? Yes, I was. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, I? Yes, I was. I was, exactly. Yes, I was. Um, did you go to a concert yesterday? Yes, I yes, did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? Recuerden, no me mezclen el was con el did. Si les pregunto con was, me responden con was. Si les pregunto con where, o, o me, les pregunto con did, me responden con did. Oye. Pregunta con was o con where, respondemos con was o where, lo que corresponde. Eh, pregunta con did, respondemos con did. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Any questions? Now look at these questions. Did you, did you play baseball? Yes, I did. I played baseball all afternoon. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't play baseball no, at all. Did you meet Jane in the middle school? Yes, I did. I met her there. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't meet her there. 
Remember, si van a dar solo la respuesta corta, hasta, ¿verdad? Pero, si usted me quiere extender la respuesta, me va a dar una información más grande, ¿verdad? Did you meet Jane in middle school? Yes, I did. Did you meet Jane at middle school? No, I didn't. Were you home yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was there all day. Were you home yesterday? Mm -mm, no, I wasn't. I wasn't there at all. Or you can say, no, I wasn't. I was, okay. At school. I was at school. Any questions? Questions, questions? No, teacher. Now it's your turn to look at the sentences here and write the questions. Okay? Look at the sentences and write the questions. What type of questions do you have to write there? Mm -hmm. They are similar to the homework that you have. Okay. One of the assignments that are in the, in the book. Much. Did you send the email? Mm -hmm. Did you send the email? Yes. Uh -huh. Did you send the email? The number two, did they check the package? Uh -huh. Did they check the package? Did they check the package? Uh -huh. What about the next one? Did the car turn on? Uh -huh. Did the car turn on? Um, Another one. Did you receive a copy okay. of the recipe? Res, res, how to say recipe? 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 Recipe. Recipe. Uh -huh. Recipe. La receta. ¿Verdad? Ah, uh -huh. receta. Receta es recipe. 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 Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. And the other one, the number five, did he buy a new tire? Tire. A new tire. Uh -huh. A new tire. Uh -huh. That's right. Vamos a decir, did they, ¿verdad? Did they check the package? Yes. Did they check the package? Did the car turn on? Did the car... Yeah. 
What about number four? Did you receive a copy of the receipt? A copy no. of the receipt. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? <coughs> Number five, did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a new a new tire? Okay, did he buy a new tire? And number six, did she? Did she understand a word? Did she understand a word I said? No, she didn't. She didn't understand a word I said. Okay. Questions. Let's move. Now you are going to work together and you're going to do this exercise check. Um, you're going to ask or you're going to put the questions in order, right? Put the words in order to make questions. Este se los voy a poner allá en el, en el chat. So you complete. Let me see. I'm going to send it to the groups. Vale, voy a poner dos en este último solo para que este les les yo, yo digo, yo digo que ya no me va a alcanzar para mucho, ¿verdad? Pero solo es como solo. I'm going to recreate the rooms. No questions, ¿verdad? In no the question. first exercise, you have to put the words in order, and in the order, in the other one, you have to write the question. There we go. Join, join. Los que no puedan entrar, trabajen aquí, ¿verdad? En, en, en solito, con lo que quieren aquí. to join, Angie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nancy, try to join. Uh, estaba trabajando sola, teacher, pero igual me voy a unir. <laughs> y me ha quedado Arely solita. Sí, ya ahorita voy. María, María. Hola. Hola. 
Ah, hola, sorry, no había puesto el micrófono, perdón. <ríe> ok. Este, vamos a ordenar las preguntas. La primera. Eh, yes. um, did you number one is did you uh -huh. did you Es a ordenar, ¿verdad? Sí, tienen que ponerlas en orden. Eso no. ¿Cómo quería primera analizar? Analiza. Eh, ¿Qué? Sí, sí. ¿Qué? 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 You question my others. Yes or no? Eh, no, I didn't. Number two, did you get uh, you the system? Bombard. Bombard. Did you sister to the hunger? Did you the system? Mm -hmm. Ajá, porque es tu hermana hizo la tarea, entonces así sería. Did you did you sister to the hunger? Did you sister? Do the homework. 
Con la otra sería el otro sería digit ah no digit digi ajá digit with the gamer the gamer sí exacto así game 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 la otra la otra sería did you get up early yesterday Bye. Vamos con la siguiente. Ajá. Ay, mi pelo la seis acabo de decir. Ah, no. La, la seis, la, la seis. Uh -huh. Mi pelo hijo. Ah, otro sería de you. Ajá. Did you go. Uh -huh. Ah, no. Did you go. Go. Ajá, ya me confundí. <risa> did you go. Sí, to sería go. así. Did uh -huh. you go to work yesterday? Ajá, así sería. Sí, así sería. Uh -huh. Ajá, Bye. y el otro es, do you know the truth? No, the truth. Uh -huh. Did you know the truth? Ok. El otro es, di do... do you... Did you go to the bed early? Very. Come on. The last one would be. Do you do you find the keys in the office? In the off. The office. Off. Office. Okay. Entonces sería. ¿Y el otro? Es de. Ah, la otra. Es de, es de hacer la pregunta, de describir bien la pregunta. El otro sería de Mary. Mary watch, watch. 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 His favorite program. Watch. Watch. watch her favorite watch. program. Ajá. El otro de Jack. Vaya, ahí, ahí todas no. serían, a todas se les pondría el did y todas llevarían bueno, el mismo verbo. El no verbo. Le pues, no le cambiaríamos nada. La pronunciación cambia. No, por eso, pero en cuanto a, la, a, a completar las preguntas, todas serían did. Uh -huh. con, su, con su verbo base que está entre paréntesis. Sí. Solo sería de ahí. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, así serían todas. Yes, I see you analyze the room. Nice. Yes, we trust. <coughs> yes, I am reading in the chat. Quiero ver. You did. Did you find? Go too early. Did you find? Did you find? Case in the office. Uh huh. Muy bien. En la nueve me corrigen, porfa. Did you go to? Did you go to bed? No, did you early, early go to uh -huh. bed? Early go to bed. <clears throat> Así. No la veo, no, ahí decía de, de respuestas. No, no le, no le, no le aparece. No. Oh, uh, perdón, <risa> perdón. Permítanme.
Hoy sí. La number nine. Did you early go to the... Uy, tú se lo puse. Sorry. Bed sería el final, ¿verdad? Yes. Did you go to bed early? Ajá. Uh -huh. Early is the... Is the last one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you... Did you go to bed early? Do you go to bed early? Early, in verdad. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody back. Okay, number one, number one. Did you Did understand, you understand my, my question? Mm -hmm. Did you understand my question? Number two. Did? Did you do homework? Did you? Homeworks, uh, <laughs> yo me trabe, perdón. Did your sister? Did, did your sister do homework? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did your sister do the homework? Do the yes. Homework. Number three. Mary, did you help white dinner yesterday? It's a question. We begin with did. Uh -huh. Did you? Remember, we begin with did and we finish with yesterday. Did you help? <laughs> did you help? Mary with, with the, with dinner? Aha, uh -huh. did, did you help Mary with dinner Mary yesterday? With yesterday. Exactly. Did you help Mary with dinner yesterday? Number four. Did you like the food? Uh -huh. Did you like the food? Number five. Did she win the game? Uh -huh. Exactly. Did she win the game? Number six. Did you get, get up early yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did you get up early yesterday? Number seven. Did you go to work yesterday? Uh -huh. Number eight. Did you know the truth? Uh -huh. Did you know the truth? Number nine. The... Did you? Did you go to bed early? Mm -hmm. And number 10. Did you find the case in the office? Uh -huh. Did you find the keys in the office? Nice. Nice, nice. Any questions there? Is it that? Yes. Or no? Yes, teacher. A ver. We have two minutes. Vaya, vamos a ver quickly. Did Mary... Watch. Did Mary watch her favorite program? What about number two? 
Did. Did Jack go to the church yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did Jack go to church yesterday? Number three. Did Susie write a report last Friday? Yeah, number four. Did Becky find the case in the drawer? Drawer. 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 Uh -huh. Aquí suena como O y la W no suena, ni la E, no es el drawer. drawer. Okay. Number five. Did Mark wear a suit in the party? To the party, yes. Number six. What about number six? Did Tony? Did Tony use a pen to sing the document? To sign the document. Ooh, number seven. What about number seven? Did Sylvia think about the problem? Mm -hmm. Number eight. Did. Did Janet ride the, her bicycle to school? Yeah, number nine. Did Jack drive to work yesterday? I, I worked yesterday. Uh -huh. Did Jack drive to work yesterday? Number 10. Did Wesley drink soda on the party yesterday? Uh -huh. 11. The big sig here frame after war. Mm -hmm. Number twelve. Did Kimberly Kimberly uh, White come home um, here last night? Yeah, did Kimberly uh, come home early last night? Number thirteen. The how how no. Why Joe, for Joe. you in the car? Ah, uh, did Joe, Joe wait for you in the car? Joe, C S S L A Joe. For Joe. Yeah. Did Peter, did Peter. Meet, meet your parents but, last uh, weekend? Exactly. Very good. Nice, nice. We finished for today, right? Now. I'm going to call the last attendance of the day. Let's see. Tell me, please. As I call. Admiral Adoni? <clears throat> Alexa? Next, Alex. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Ana Luisa? Present teacher. Andre? Present teacher. Angie? Presente. Ali? Hello. Erling. Here. Irma Noemi. Irma Irma. No está Irma. Irma, hello. Mi hermano me ha contestado toda la clase. Y María. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Marta. Marta, Marta. Present teacher. Vicio. Miguel Ángel. Mauricio, creo que me dijo present sin my present teacher. ¿Verdad? Yes. Nancy. Present. 
Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow, Tom. Enjoy your night. Hey, don't forget the platform, ¿verdad? Tengo un par por allí que no me han hecho nadita, así que acuérdense. Ya debemos sí. estar en tarea número 13. Ok, perfecto. Eso te iba a preguntar. <ríe> Le leí la mente. Tarea número 13. Sí, está raro. Sí. Vaya pues. Sí, Good night, teacher. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. En mi caso, cuando estaba haciendo la nueve, todo me salió malo. Ah, muy mal va a ser. No problema. Ah, ok. Muy mal va a ser. Cheque ahí qué fue lo que pasó. Y que, que si es porque no empezó con capiralera o porque le faltó un puntito. O si ¿Qué es lo que dice? Descifra las siguientes oraciones. Entonces, adivinar lo que dice ahí. Ah, veamos. Veamos la Mm. And scramble the words. Sí, tiene así como lo que, como el ejercicio que acabamos de poner, que hacer de poner las palabras en orden para escribir las oraciones. Ah, oh, ok. Thank you. Sí, ahí de lengua hasta que le queden buenas. <risa> ok. Ahí tienen Thank todas you. las chances posibles hasta que lo logren. Oye. Ok. Y en el caso que el examen no lo pude hacer antes del sábado, siempre cuenta, porque sí lo hice, pero el lunes. Ah, sí, ya le recogí la nota, la recogí ayer. Ah, ok. Ah, sí, sí. Gracias. Good night. Good night. Ok, vamos a ver. Hi, Mauricio. How are you? Hello, teacher. Bueno, vamos a sacar un cuchillo que se me quedó en el Hi, hi, Abner. How are you? Hi. Hi. 